Welcome back to another exciting episode of Cyber Defense TV. I'm your host, Gary Malewski, and the publisher of Cyber Defense Magazine. Sitting in my hot seat today is a very special guest from an innovative and very cool cybersecurity company. It's Chandra Pandey, and he is the founder and CEO of Secion, S-E-C-E-O-N.com, Secion. And they are an innovator in so many areas. They've pulled it all together with a next generation XDR solution we're going to learn all about today. Chandra, welcome back to the hot seat. Yeah, thank you, Gary. Thanks for uh, inviting us again. And it's uh, always a pleasure to uh, speak with you. Chandra, Sekian has created an all-in-one encompassing solution to really get preemptive and proactive against threats. And I, I have a feeling it's also cost-effective. But tell us about this next-gen XDR solution and really all these gears on the back wall. You've pulled all these components into one thing, which just seems incredible. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for asking that question, uh, Gary. The platform we did from the day one is like has your uh, SOAR. If you look into a traditional way, you have your uh, same SOAR, UEBA, NBAD, ML, AI, dynamic threat models, as well as threat intelligence. And a uh, couple of years back, we realized as we are working with more than almost 4,000 customers that uh, they were kind of uh, uh, feeling that, hey, their EDR is not adding much of the value in the broader context. There is a lot of noise they have to deal with and the vulnerability assessment itself was running on its own, but they don't know what the actions are really relevant and what they should do, what they should not do. So there was a lot of requests that started coming that, hey, can we put those functionality into the platform as well? So we launched our AI XDR and that brought everything together. So if you look into AI XDR for the people right now, mostly is like a EDR plus any other things you do, they call it like, hey, I got XDR. Mm -hmm. From us, as you pointed out, AI XDR is your comprehensive cybersecurity platform. You can think about that you are running a uh, proactive like uh, SOC, you are running M MDR functionality, you might be saying that I'm running XDR. I'm kind of also doing all the threat hunting, incident response, forensic. Hopefully you never have to do those kind of forensics and all that in there in our platform. But if you just wanted to investigate some time for a purpose, uh, you want to see uh, what has uh, been happening uh, in your environment, you have all of those things at the single place. So it is a comprehensive cybersecurity platform. And now on the platform, we have uh, 6,000 uh, plus customers. And you said something very unique, uh, Gary, I wanted to make sure uh, I address it. From the day one, our goal was to not just kind of create a platform which is going to address the need of the people with the millions of dollars into the security budgets, but make it affordable for any size organization, which uh, are kind of like uh, uh, running their own businesses and they want to focus on their own businesses, but they should not be worried about the cybersecurity and uh, breaches. So we made it very affordable uh, and uh, it can be afforded by many of those organizations. So if you look into 90% of our question, uh, customers, come from SME and SMB, and every day, approximately 100 customers or maybe more than that get onboarded in our platform. And that is the approach we took. And the partners we have, they are all excited about that. Hey, I can go and offer a cybersecurity solution, which is in the most uh, like uh, uh, comprehensive in the nature, and it's a better than many of those organizations who are spending millions of dollars uh, getting their cybersecurity tools and running the operation. And that was our goal. And seeing our partners being that excited is kind of gives us a lot of satisfaction and gives us motivation to go and keep on doing, adding the innovations on top of it, what we have right now. Chandra, that's fantastic. And you know the underserved group normally is the SMB or SME. And 80% of uh, GDP comes from those businesses that can't really afford multi-million dollar cybersecurity solutions. I'm curious, um, quick quickness on deployment, ease of deployment, 
is are we talking about uh, your hosting this or you offer MSP or MSSP partnerships where we go to our provider? How, how does an SME or SMB get this up and running so quickly? Yeah, that's a great question. So uh, lately what is happening is a lot of our partners, they host it from our cloud. So they can launch it uh, within like a, a hour and then they can have like 10, 20, 100 customers uh, hosted on the platform within a day. So as I mentioned, there are like uh, almost like uh, 100 customers get onboarded uh, uh, very frequently each, each of the weeks. We have those kind of things going on. And the region is very simple because what we did is we provided them the, our own private cloud. There are our partners who run from the public clouds as well. So AWS as well as the Azure and some have the GCP as well, but mostly AWS and Azure, uh, they kind of use the platform in that one as well. On the enterprise side, there are some who have uh, like a requirement, they have to run from the Gov cloud and all that. So they put the platform into the Gov cloud, but we have enabled that, you know, so platform is uh, cloud agnostic, hypervisor agnostic, but the, all the trend has been lately is like uh, SM, uh, SMB and SMB customer, get, they get the services through the, our MSP and MSSP partners. And those ones get launched from our cloud. It's much more easy without any uh, significant investment. You can launch your uh, services uh, within a day. You can have 10, 20 customer live. And just oh. to give you an idea, you know, you ask a really interesting question that how long it takes to onboard a customer. So definitely small customer, you are done within an hour or so you have onboarded there like uh, 100, 200 assets you have. Uh, but uh, just like some cases you have, uh, we have very large customers. They run from our cloud as well that where you have 10,000 asset or 20,000 asset. And typically onboarding, like if you look into the traditional way, people will go and talk, hey, it's going to take a couple of months. And sometimes we have to do all this uh, tuning and all that in there. And those customers, to be their surprise, they get kind of onboarded in a week. And these I'm talking about 10,000 plus asset where the data is kind of telemetry is getting ingested from all of those uh, devices. You know? Speaking of ingesting the data, does uh, AI XDR get deployed uh, as kind of an inline solution where tra all traffic has to flow through it for you know web browsing and email and file transfer and other things, or is there is it a mix or not inline or some kind of hybrid play? And is there an endpoint agent that gets installed? Yeah, that's a great question. So if you look into if you try to do everything in line, uh, that kind of like a solution is never going to scale and you will never be able to see everything together. So it has to be something where you are getting the telemetry from what is in line directly in there. And then certain places you do require to have some of the telemetry uh, which you are going to extract from the data sets are you are monitoring on the like uh, the endpoints itself. So we have like collectors. We also have uh, like what you call is a traffic analyzer, which is in certain cases is, is basically you want to put it in there where you cannot get rich enough telemetry. And then for the endpoints where if the people want to kind of uh, transition from their uh, uh, whatever the EDR or uh, solution they have been using in there, uh, then they end up using our uh, EDR uh, agent in there. And that creates, uh, brings all the telemetry and it also gives us capability to offer your file integrity monitoring and all that too. So it's not only that, you know, you are getting your EDR, but you are getting much more richer functionality beyond that as well, you know. Is there a, a dashboard in uh, AI XDR that's the MSP or MSSP manages for the client? Is a client allowed to, you know, if they have a big enough team to have their own IT uh, staff review, manage, uh, and monitor the, 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 the interface and the dashboard and reporting and events and alerts? Yeah, exactly. That's what, that's what we had done. So we gave a capability to all the way to the end customers, to the MSP, and then MSSP. So you have uh, all the three label kind of, you can have master MSSP, then you can have MSSP, 
our MSP who is now have become MSSP and the in customer, all of them can come in and monitor. So MSP will see, our MSSP will see all of their customers. Customer will see only their own dashboard and they see all the actions, activities. Sometimes they do the co-manage as well. So that customer will be able to do the actions uh, and uh, even kind of sit on the command and control centers. We call it command and control center at the individual customer level where they can say that, hey, these are the actions I want to take uh, when these kind of things are observed in the future as well. So you can provide that kind of like uh, uh, feedback for a platform to be efficient going forward as well. One of the things I wanted to point out because uh, you are very deep in the security, Gary, uh, anyway, because there's not uh, many people like you who have done their own R&D innovations and all that. So what we also did is uh, we did something very unique because you see everywhere in the world, you have all these different standards are coming in there uh, for uh, privacy as well as reporting something means like India just came up that, hey, you have to report the incident within six hours uh, and all that, you know. So our platform was kind of already uh, real time, but we came out with this, what we call this deep tracker. Many people will call it threat hunting, but the queries you can create it over there and those queries play into the playbook. And those can be, if you can have a reporting playbook to the, any of those agencies, you can have a cert and all that. You can even have just like, hey, if something happens in there, just kind of, send out the report to the cert uh, notifications itself in the specific format they want. So all of those things can be done. And the problem is like, uh, previously, if you have to do, human has to be involved. Here, what we did is we put all the intelligence in the platform and you just kind of say, okay, hey, you know, it's like, this is the query. And that query runs into a playbook, so you don't have to do anything. It triggers automatically in there. If something happened, you have to report it. Just, just do it in real time. Forget about even just like six hours you are able to do in the real time as well. So Chandra, do you feel the AI that you and your team have developed over the last seven or eight years, do you feel that that's really what's one of the key factors in enhancing XDR to really quickly make intelligent decisions and take away the heavy workload and the pain from maybe a team that doesn't have the capabilities or like you say, maybe we can't afford to have that staff. Uh, there's a shortage of cybersecurity jobs. So it sounds like you've put a lot into the AI. Yeah, you know, it's like, that's what we have done. So because we know that uh, amount of the data being generated and all that, because you can be in a, like a, a, in an environment where you might have hundreds of billions of uh, data points are being generated uh, uh, within a week. And no matter how many humans you put it in there, you always have to be kind of putting into that, not only that week in the context, sometimes your context might be like a year old or uh, six months old. So having that kind of intelligence where you are able to put the context and situational awareness into the AI is really critical. And with that, now you don't have to deal with the knowledge. You are getting to the point where you have actionable intelligence coming out where the intelligent peoples are now directing a decision that, hey, what I want to do or what I want to do if something happens like this in the future. It sounds like we have an opportunity here. Every SMB out there, SME, that really needs to, uh, to get the multi-million dollar solution that they can't afford it they can get AI XDR from Secion and your MSP and MSSP partners. Exactly, that's what we have done. And that's the region we have this huge growth uh, like on the customer base and uh, many of the MSP, MSSP partners are joining us uh, on the to serve those people at the cost they can afford. Because our goal is like from the day one was, as I mentioned that empowering those SMB and SMEs to focus on their core business instead of having a sleepless night over the cybersecurity and worried about that, hey, we will get breached and then uh, we have to get out of the business. That should never be kind of on their mind. And that's what we have done. It. That's wonderful. Chandra, if uh, 
someone wants to get on board, do they go to secion.com to learn about their local MSP or MSSP? Or do they, if they don't have one, they get on board directly? Where do you recommend SME, SMB, uh, IT, uh, or even uh, C-level executive viewers and listeners uh, go to learn more about Secion and to potentially get rolling quickly? Yeah, so definitely, as you pointed out, people can go into the secion.com uh, and they can kind of like ask that, hey, uh, I have this need in there. So you can just fill out just like your email and uh, uh, like your phone number. And after that, you know, it's like you will get connected with the right set of the either uh, MSSP who is offering the services or if you want to have your own services, we will have a kind of like... Uh, people start working with you to make sure that you get to see it, what you are going to get. If you want to work with uh, a reference and all that to check how what their experience has been, uh, you can always kind of like work on that, but you can also even try it out, you know, because it's such a simple thing for trying, trying it out as well. So you can see uh, for yourself what you are going to get out of it, you know, before you kind of uh, decide uh, whether this is the best solution. Uh, definitely anybody who is tried out, uh, we rarely have any anyone who tried out uh, go away anywhere. Uh, but, you know, it's like uh, you have that option and you don't have to pay for it even to trying it out. You know? How long is the trial available for? Yeah, typically we make it like uh, 30 days. Uh, so people can try out for 30 days and that helps them clean up their environment quite a bit as well in there. But most of the people are uh, like very... Uh, much is like uh, happy with uh, their trial and all that. So if they are uh, uh, ready to move forward, they just kind of continue from there itself. And our partners are also have the same view and we have enabled them for the same view as well because we have to make sure our, we support our partners to do the similar thing as well. You know, That's fantastic. So folks, uh, you just heard it here. We've learned about AI XDR from Chandra Pandey, who is the founder and CEO of Secion. Go to his website as quick as you can if you're an SMB, SME, or an MSP or MSSP that really wants to solve these problems of the latest threats, attackers, ransomware, and so much more. And then come back next time for another exciting episode of Cyber Defense TV. Cyber Defense TV and Cyber Defense Radio have launched 24 by 7 by 365 live streams. Visit them online today at cyberdefense.tv and cyberdefense.radio with your host and globally recognized cybersecurity expert and my good friend, Gary Malewski.